<laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, what the kids doing? They playing. All right, good. So, you know what's been going on with the protests and stuff like that. You've been getting the updates. It is, man. It's crazy that this is 2020. Mm -hmm. right, clear vision. Yep. Last week was pretty rough uh, mentally for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just trying to handle and take in all that information. But I saw a post that got me thinking. Um, and the post was, uh, when do you talk to your kids about all the stuff that's going on? So I'm gonna pose that question to you. When do you think we should talk to them? Um, we don't have to have a conversation. I I've been doing like tidbits here just to get some feelers with Jason. Um, and I think it needs to happen. Um, it's crazy because I saw a post as well the other day because everything is everywhere. Um, on every network, news, you know, everything. And the post said, it was actually a picture, and it was a kid holding a sign. And it said, at what age do I go from cute to dangerous? Um, and one of the comments that I read, it said 12. 12? 12. You know, our son, he's nine. Nine next week. And... To see that, um, it really struck me because I'm like, I, I, gotta, I gotta do it before nine. You know, nine. And my thing is, it's like, obviously racism is taught. We all know this. The downside is that, like, when you go to their classrooms and their schools and, and you hear the teacher talk about their best friends, Jason's is a little redhead boy from his old school and, and London's is a little brown haired white boy. I, don't, I, I just don't want their view of the world to be tainted too badly. Man, yeah, so I mean, gotta have it, and why not now? I know you struggle because it's like, I don't wanna have that conversation as a father. Um, and you pretty much just gave me confirmation. I know it, it has to take place. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna give it to him straight, you know, but we also gonna make sure we, we try to protect as much of his innocence as possible. You know, for both of them. When it's London's turn, it's London's turn. But I know for Jason right now, it's just, it's definitely about that time. So I guess I'm answering my own question. So let's do it then, man. And I guess it's, it's no time like the present, right? Yep. All right, Jason, come downstairs for a second. Up, man. Me and mommy been talking. Um, we uh, got something to talk to you about. It's gonna be pretty heavy. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we're not gonna sugarcoat anything. We're gonna give it to you straight. Um, and it's gonna be some stuff that's gonna be difficult to understand. Um, but we're gonna give you time to ask all the questions that you need to for your own clarity. All right. Um, but just listen to us first, and then whatever you gotta ask, we'll answer. All right? Yep. All right. So it's like this. 